This video is optional. In this video, I'll briefly introduce Git and GitHub and show how to download the full Kid Ridiculous source code from GitHub and run it in Eclipse. Let's start by going to the Kid Ridiculous repository on GitHub. On GitHub, a repository is basically a project. Git is a tool to manage your source code and it lets you see how your code has changed over time. GitHub is a hosting service for Git repositories. See the links in the video description for more information on Git and GitHub. To get a stable version of the code, check out the downloads available in the releases section. These downloads are generally more stable than the most recent commit. Scroll down to whatever version of the code you want to download and run. You can find the most recent version at the top of the list. I'm going to download the zip file for the version 0.14 release. Open the download. Copy the Kid Ridiculous folder that it contains. I'm going to paste the Kid Ridiculous folder to the My Documents folder. Now I need to copy the full path and folder name, which I will later use in Eclipse when importing this project. Close that stuff and start Eclipse. I'm going to create a new Eclipse workspace to keep the full Kid Ridiculous source code separate from the how to code Kid Ridiculous source code. In Eclipse, go to the file menu and choose import Choose Gradle, an existing Gradle project, click Next, and Next again. Now paste the full folder path and name that we copied earlier into the project root directory field and click Finish. Good, the project imported correctly into Eclipse. I'll close down some windows I don't need, then go to the Kid Ridiculous desktop section of the project, choose Source, choose Kid Ridiculous Desktop, and double click on the desktop launcher file. Now set up the Run Configuration by clicking on the Run drop down, choose Run Configurations. This is a Java application. Now I need to set the working directory so the app can find the files for sounds, graphics, maps, etc. The files for the game's graphics and sounds are in the core part of the project, in the Assets folder. So click on that and hit OK. Then press Apply to apply these changes to the Run configuration, and press Run to start the app. Alright, it works! If you have any questions, then leave a comment in the comments section and I'll try to answer your questions. If you like this video, then you can hit the like button, and if you want to know when more of these type of videos come out, you can hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching!